Hi guys, this is Keith Galley, and today I'm going to teach you how to win at Battleship almost every time. So if you've watched my other videos, I've done a couple others on the game theory behind like popular board games. So if you look in the right, there'll be a couple suggestions to if you want to see the video on Othello or the video on Connect 4, go check those out. Also, this video is in a little bit of a different format than my previous ones. Uh, please let me know if you like this format. If you are watching this video, I'm guessing that you are familiar with Battleship. But if you're not, I'll go through the rules really quickly. So the game starts off with each person placing their ships on the board. Next, you take turns guessing the position of the enemy ships. And finally... The player who completely destroys all of his or her opponent's ships first wins. So how can you play this game more strategically and win almost every time? The first strategy is called checkerboarding. So basically this strategy is pretty straightforward. We should, instead of thinking of the game as a 10 by 10 square, we should create a checkerboard on the grid and then only fire on either the light tiles or the dark blue tiles. The reason that we would want to do this is that every ship must have components on both types of squares. So by only firing on either light squares or dark squares, we're not actually going to miss any ships completely. However, what this does do for us is that we can eliminate half of the places that we have to fire at if we only fire on light squares or dark squares. So that's really good. From a probabilistic standpoint, we have no, we just increase our eyes by almost two times because we're eliminating half of the squares. However, you might be kind of thinking, well, to destroy a ship entirely, you can't just shoot at light squares or dark squares. Well, this is covered in the second part of the strategy, which is called hunt and target. So hunt and target basically is if you hit a ship, you should open up the surrounding tiles around that no matter if they are light or dark, and fire at all of them. So, uh, also I guess you're never going to fire diagonally because ships can only lie horizontally or vertically. So, if we get a hit, we're going to open up the, the tiles vertically and horizontally surrounding our ship. And then we will try firing at these adjacent positions. So let's say I shot to the right. I missed. So my next shot is going to be above or below. And let's say I got a hit in the second shot. So I'm going to fire one more time above. Well, I got a miss there. So now I know that the remaining parts of the ship are below and I can finish off the ship. So the third part of the strategy involves a little bit of math. Um, if you're familiar with probability density functions, they are used a lot in this strategy. If you're not familiar with probability density functions, basically, if you think of the battleship board as, you know, kind of this big plot, some positions are going to have a higher probability than others of having a ship. So let's say that we had five positions here. Uh, if you look at this graph, let's say position one, you know, had a 40% chance of having a ship. Position two had a 30% chance, etc. I will adapt this PDF function to be a little bit more kind of suited for Battleship in the following slides. So here we have um, a sample layout of what, where Battleship ships might be on the right. And on the left, we have a probability density function of the probability that a certain ship lies on a tile. So one thing I want to note is that the darker squares in this left graph, or this left plot, represent the higher probability spots of a ship. The lighter squares represent squares that are not very likely. So it kind of makes sense that the center has the highest probability of ships because you can lie ships in all sorts of ways on these center tiles. However, on the corner tiles, you can't really you can only lay them, you know, horizontally this way or horizontally that way. And this has to be the end of a ship because you can't kind of let the ship go over the left or above. 
Also, I just wanted to give a shout out. If you look in the link below, I stole these slides from, I stole these images, these graphs from a great research paper on battleship strategy. So if you want to check that out, feel free to. Uh, the link will be in the uh, description of this video. So let's say I guess right here where the red square is. And I get a miss. So I adjust my probability density function. And you know, you're obviously not going to have like this perfect graph, but in your head you kind of know that, oh, I didn't get that tile, but maybe this other diagonal tile has a ship now, because it's still pretty centralized, so it's likely to have one. And you guess there. So now the probability density function changes a lot, and we want to guess in the most probabilistically likely spots. So now, because we got a hit, it's going to be either vertically or horizontally. So this kind of goes hand in hand with the you know, checkerboarding strategy and the hunt and target that I mentioned before. So you want to guess the most probabilistically likely spots to shoot at while also only shooting at light or dark tiles to begin with. So I'm going to continue, you know, I keep firing, I get a miss, and my PDF keeps updating kind of until that whole ship kind of has been destroyed. So if I was to continue, I would shoot here and here, and then the ship would be destroyed. Uh, I'm not going to walk through all of the positions on the board because that would take a while, but I'm just going to kind of go a little bit further in the game. Um, so as you can see, you know, I keep firing around and I keep adjusting my PDF. And then finally, I get another hit. And this process kind of repeats. I think, you know, maybe it is good to shoot below. It's probably not as likely to be in the corner here because the sides, the, the walls around the perimeter and the corners are the least likely spot. So I'm going to guess below first and, oh shoot, <laughs> below first. And as we can tell, there's not a hit there, but I would then probably shoot horizontally to the left and we get a hit. And we just keep this process up until, you know, all of the opponent's ships are eliminated. And while this doesn't guarantee us a win, we are playing the odds in our favor. And so that is why I say that this strategy will help you win Battleship almost every time. Thank you for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, check out my other videos. Um, subscribe to my channel for future content that I'll upload. And uh, throw this video a like.